Hi, my name is Mark Tusson. I'm a Welcome Riverside team leader here at RHS Garden Wisley. And today I'm going to be showing you how to plant a tree into a container. So for this task, I've got myself some peat-free multi-purpose compost, uh, my planter. Uh, in the bottom of the planter, I will be putting in some, some crocs to help with the drainage, um, some slow-release fertilizer, and a good drink of water as well. Um, the tree that I'll be planting today is this Betula Jack Montii, which is a nice white barked birch. So what I'm going to do first is um, put in our crocs. These will help with the drainage in the bottom and um, prevent all the compost from filtering through our drainage hole in the bottom of the pot. So my next step is to add my compost. Um, this is a peat-free multi-purpose compost and I just want to build up a layer in the bottom um, to below the depth of the tree that I'll be planting. So I will now add a little sprinkle of multi-purpose um, feeder. This is a slow-release granular feeder and is suitable for any tree that you plant into a pot. And this will just add nutrients over the, over the next year. My next step will be removing the plant pot and teasing out the roots, ready for it to go into the bigger pot. So by just giving it a little tap, usually frees it up and the pot falls off. And as you can see, there's lots of lovely big, big roots in here. But what we want to do to prevent them spiraling round is just tease them out a little so that they can root out into the pot a bit better, into the fresh compost. So it might look a bit dramatic, but the tree will really appreciate it once you've done this. And again, on the bottom, just to free up that as well. What I want to do next is just lower in my plant, just to see that it's at the correct depth, ready for planting. So as you can see, it's um, slightly lower than the rim of the, of the pot, but that's not a bad thing at all. And what we want to do is just make sure that we can find the root flare. And this is where the roots start to spread out from the base of the tree and we don't want to be covering that up. For the next step, I'm going to be backfilling the compost around the edge of the plant. This will help the roots root out into it and yeah, I'll make sure it's compacted as I go. So I really want to push out any air gaps that are in and around the base of this. If we have air gaps, that means that the tree will kind of root into it and um, it won't get the nutrients that it needs from the compost. So by really compacting that down, you eliminate any, any air gaps within it. And I can still see there's lots of roots on the top here, so that, that's, that's really good. And I know that that will be my top level. So with a few more trowelfuls of compost, we'll have completed our pot planting. Um, so now that we have finished planting our plant, all trees need a real good soak. Um, so what we'll do is we'll fill this rim right up with water and allow that to just soak through naturally. What you'll want to do is probably give this a water perhaps once a week, certainly in the dry spells of the summer but over the winter, it should sit fine in its pot. It might be worth putting it up on some, some little raised blocks to stop it waterlogging as well.
So as you can see, this tree um, is planted now, but to ensure it grows straight and central, um, we will insert the bamboo cane a little more than what it was originally. So what I'm going to do is just push it down through the root ball and I'll use the tree tie to secure it a little higher up. This way it'll stop it rocking about and it will give it a bit more of an anchor point. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's demonstration of tree planting. And if you look to plant your own tree in your own garden, in a container, you'll find everything that we've used here today in the RHS shop. Thank you.